Sketch Dork here to show you what's coming up next on Takes and Ghostone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Imagine Porch. The following segments is Takes and Ghostone cartoon, followed by Tinky Winky segment, Whiz Bits, Echo Echo Ring Ring. Spanish with Clocky, Junior Wetworth's Backyard Show, Gorgeous Clatoos Vegetables, and another Ticks and Goldstone cartoon. Stay tuned at the end of the episode for surprises with Wendy Elizabeth. On with the show. I couldn't wait to show Greenman my astronaut figurines that Moose a Moose give away. Holy Toby, what did you have? The green astronaut figurine. It features an alarm clock. It's set to 7 o'clock in the morning. So I know when it's time for me to get up and go to Charleston, just have a chat with those friends. And I also have this red astronaut figurine. It features a flashlight where I can see things in the dark when the power goes off. And perfect for going to the restroom at night in the dark. When does Tracy McBean bring in the space-themed Ferris wheel? That was not working. And Tracy McBean had to bring it upstairs by these two doors. Oh, oh stop talking about that. Tracy McBean is coming with the space themed Ferris wheel. The Galaxy Space Flight. It's out of order. And Tracy McBean is bringing it upstairs. Nah. I don't think that. The Ferris Wheel Kitty ride is yours. And Trace Mippy has to take it back to Billy Bob's after she gets it fixed good. Whatever, Greenman. It's heavy for me to carry it upstairs. Now, I must find these parts to this machine. Don't touch that kitty ride while I'm gone. Do you hear what she said? She says, don't touch the kitty ride. She's got to find those parts for the machine. And whenever you touch, Tracy McBean will be angry and kick you out of here. Oh, stop that. I better go see what she put up upstairs. Flight. Space. Falgas. I couldn't see these two astronauts. That chair is blocking the images. What am I gonna do? Uh, Tracy McBean said not to touch it, but I'll have to pull that chair out of here. Pause. 
Pause. Will takes in Goldstone. Get these astronauts from the image of a circle and put into the clipboard or he's going to pull the chair out of here. Answer lies ahead in part two right after these segments. Do you think that's fun? Watch this. Use the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Mail! Hi there, Tank. I've waited and waited and waited to get you this letter. Thank you for the letter. You're welcome. We just got a letter. 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 I wonder who it's from. Scoop. She has a camera weapon. She shot pictures. Made them dizzy eyes. Scoop, look behind you. Oh, boobas don't like pictures being shot. By the camera. All I need is a itty bitty reaper grabber capture, a good handcuffed, and a big nut capture. Oh no. Please don't capture me. Do something, Texan. Do something to those villains. Nothing will stop us because I have Annie, Zoe, and the net ladies to capture you. Oh no, you won't. Because I got the zapping ring. Thank you for saving me. I have almost got captured by the net ladies. Andy and Zoe. A picture was shot by... Oh, what's that girl? Scoop. Scoop has disappeared. That's one big orange booba that speak. And I saved you from the villains. Hello, geniuses, and welcome to Quiz Bits. Let's meet today's teams, Bonnie Bear and Mr. Gramophone, against Chester and Washington the Fox. For each person who gets it right, or gets it wrong, doesn't matter to me. Today, we're going to be counting to 80. Good luck counting! Let's count by eights. Ready? Eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Thirty-two. Forty. Forty-eight. Fifty-six. Sixty-four. Seventy-two. Eighty. How many are there? Eighty strawberries. You too. Guess the number before 20 seconds is up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's what I'm guessing. 80. Time's up. Chester. You have not said the number. Bonnie, you did say the number. You, Washington, you got it all tied up. To break a tie, you must draw the number 80. Bear
Better luck next time, you two. See you next time on Quiz Bits. Keep counting. Hello? Is this Echo Echo speaking? <laughs> Junior Wentworth? Is that you, Junior? <laughs> oh, you're in your backyard with All-Star Seaworthy. <laughs> I can't wait to show Joe and Jack how filming the backyard, teaching the kids opposites. Okay, well, suppose I get off the phone. I better turn on TV and see what's going on. Goodbye. Hola, my name's Clocky, and this is my assistant, Quirty. Continuing with the last three flashcards. What word is this? Curly hair. Can you say it in Spanish? El pelo visado. Now say it in two ways. Curly hair. El pelo visado. Next flashcard, please. What's the next? Word. Wavy hair. Spanish speaking, please. El pelo on tu lado. Now say it the two ways. Wavy hair. El pelo on tu lado. Now for the final flashcard for the final three cards. Get ready for it. What's the last word? Straight hair. Can you sing it in Spanish, please? El pelo liso. Now say it in two ways. Straight hair. El pelo liso. That's all the flashcards. Thank you. Do you know what time it is? It's time for Junior Wetworth's Backyard Show. Hello there. You're welcome here. It's Junior Wetworth's Backyard Show. Look at me, All-Star. I'm on top of the unicycle. Now can ride it with no hands. Whoa! Oof! Junior, you're not supposed to ride this unicycle. You're not supposed to be up that way. I'm down onto the grass. Well, I need something that I can go up instead of being down. Why are you walking with your plungers on your feet? Because I'm on top of the plungers. I'm the tallest snork. I'm on top of the plungers, and you're still down on the grass. Up and down are opposites. Well, I am down on the grass, and you're on top of those plungers. Get down on top of those plungers. Goodness, do not be rude to me, All-Star. Up and down are opposites. Better get back on top of those plungers again. Oh, brother. 
guess I'll have to go to the next segment. Gorgeous Clatu. And now, a word for Gorgeous Kaltu's vegetables. Hello. I'm Gorgeous Clatu. And today is what's different. And what's different is orange. Three shapes are the same, but one is different. Let's have a look. Carrot is orange. Pumpkin is orange. Pepper is orange. Tangerine is orange. Let's investigate. Carrot is a vegetable shape. Pumpkin is a vegetable shape. Pepper is a vegetable shape. And tangerine is not a vegetable shape. It's a fruit shape. So that's different. Three vegetable shapes are the same. One shape is different. It's a fruit shape. On with another cartoon. Where you left off is Falgus Galaxy Space Flight was upstairs by the two doors was brung by Tracy McBean herself. Oh my creel. This chair is stuck. Maybe if I kick it a little bit. And that chair is still blocking your view. And it's still stuck. There's gotta be another way to get you out from the image in a circle. We cannot see. You can pull us off and put it where? Clipboard. That's where. Go get the clipboard and peel us off. Okie dokie. Clipboard coming right up. We hope we get us peel off and stick to the clipboard. There's my two astronauts. In the clipboard you go. Thanks for peeling us off. Now to go to your room and hang it up. Thank you for hanging us to the table. Your other two astronauts are standing there at the table having a chat. Now go bring them to us. Two astronaut figurines, one clipboard of us in galaxy paper. Okay. Please don't go away. Be right back. Thank you two astronauts. You're welcome. Thank goodness. She said thank you. The astronaut said you're welcome. Now what you gonna do? If Tracy McBean is arriving, see the blank image of space? Don't tell her she's arriving. You might not know what she's coming. Tixon, did you touch that kitty ride while I go get the parts? Uh, I was not touching that. I was trying to get these astronauts from fixing the kitty ride and bringing it back to Billy Bob's. When it's repaired, I peel these astronauts out and stick it to the clipboard to rescue these astronauts. 
and I bring these two astronauts to the clipboard so they can have a chat. That does it. I am kicking you out of the firehouse. No, please don't kick me out. I've rescued the astronauts. I have come to whip crack Tracy Midbean. Greenman, where did you get that whip? Now, how did you rescue the two astronauts from the space-themed Ferris wheel? Well, Space Girl and the Space Boy told me to rescue by peeling it off and sticking it to the clipboard. And I bring the astronaut figurines to go with the clipboard. Space clipboard. Oh. So, Space Girl and the Space Boy peeled off and sticked to the clipboard to go with your astronaut figurines? Yes. I've peeled it and sticked it to the clipboard on a galaxy paper. Come look at this. First, we rescued Space Girl and the Space Boy from the kitty ride. Then, he brung us to the room to go with the clipboard. And now, he's our hero. Tixon, Allen, Elroy, Goldstone. And now, surprises with Wendy Elizabeth. What's inside the present, Wendy? You've guessed it. The clipboard of two astronauts on a piece of paper. Sketch dork here. Don't touch that dial. Here are the following sketches for our next show. Now that was a good cartoon. Drop you down the imagine porch. That's all for today. Till the imagine porch sunshine. Down, down till bedtime.